So this is a product of two functions. They are the square root of x function and the e to the x function. So we've got if it was the square root function by itself, we could write it as x to the 1 half. And to take the derivative of that, it would be 1 half x, and now subtract 1 from this, which would result in negative 1 half. But you should never leave negative exponent, so it's going to be, this needs to be moved to the bottom, so it's going to be 1 over 2 square root of x. And then if we had a function equal to e to the x, then we could take the derivative of that. Well, that's the easiest derivative there is. It is just itself. Okay, but when we take the derivative of a product, you have to take the derivative of each one, but only one at a time. So the product rule would say, if this is a times b, then it's going to be take the derivative of a, but leave the b alone, plus leave the a alone while you take the derivative of the b. So it's going to be take the derivative of the square root function, which we did right there, so 1 over 2 times the square root of x, and then leave the second function alone, e to the x. Next, leave the first function alone, the square root of x, and now take the derivative of the second function, which we did over there, that's e to the x for the derivative. And that is the derivative of f of x. There isn't really any way to combine it. You could factor out an e to the x if you want, but you don't really need to unless someone said, set this equal to zero and solve for x. And by the way, it's okay to leave the radical x in the denominator, just don't leave negative exponents.